you are a lover of matte liquid lipstick, do I have a treat for you today? So I'm not usually shook when I discover like new brands, but this brand shook me and for two reasons, because they're fucking really good. And the brand I should tell you right now is Model Rock. And second, because they're Australian. I'm Australian, I love that. I can't believe I'd never heard of them before. So stick around if you wanna see me swatch an insane amount of lipsticks from this brand. Hey everyone, I'm Evelina Damore. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you here all the time so you don't miss any of my videos. Now, let me tell you a little bit about how this came about. So two years ago, I moved from Sydney to Tamworth, which is a relatively small country town in rural Australia, still in the state of New South Wales. And it's about six hours away from Sydney. And my first thought when moving away was like, where the fuck am I gonna buy my makeup from? And obviously I can buy lots of things online, but I do love going into a store and obviously there's no Sephora. The town is too small. Imagine this, I've moved from Sydney to the country. I'm loving it, but I'm missing my friends. And I go to check out all the new shopping centers. That will be, you know, my local go-to. And what do I find? Glamour Empire, a makeup shop. <laughs> that sells one of my favorite brands, Lime Crime. But wait, 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 wait. This video is not about lime crime, it is about model rock. But I've been shopping at Glamour Empire ever since and I've been here for three years now. And before I get into the swatching of this brand, I wanna tell you a little story about how organically this all came about. So if there's a makeup store in the town that I live in, I'm gonna be there, I'm, I'm there all the time. And unfortunately for me, <laughs> It's right next door to Aldi where I go grocery shopping. So of course you just have to duck in all the time. So I've been buying brushes from them. I'm going to have an upcoming video on the really inexpensive Australian made 100% vegan brushes that Glamour Empire stock. I've been using them and I have some really high end brands like Kat Von D, I've got the Fenty Beauty brushes, I've got some Morphe brushes and these are completely comparable. So my first introduction to Glamour Empire was really for Lime Crime and the brushes that I still use to this day. If you know me, I'm a pretty chatty person. If you send me a DM, I'm probably going to respond and we might strike up a conversation. And this actually happened with the owner of Glamour Empire. She just had a little baby girl and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> that's all it took for me to like send her a million messages praising how beautiful her little baby was. And she also had two boys, so we had a lot in common. Anyway, at this point in time, I had no idea it was the owner of this lovely shop. And we just kept chatting and chatting and chatting. And then she went to my profile. She's like, holy shit, you should be an ambassador. For Glamour Empire Cosmetics. And I'm like, I don't know what that fucking entails, but it sounds awesome. <laughs> so immediately I was like, yes, 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 let's do this. So I went and met her. We chilled out in the shop, we had a coffee, and she introduced me to the brand that I'm going to show you today, Model Rock. Now, honestly, I'd never heard of them. And I'm like, I must live under a rock or something. That's fun again. Maybe I live on the S Rock because I had never heard of this brand, but I am so glad that I've been introduced to them. And as we spoke about what being an ambassador would entail, I was happy to hear a lot of it was just to try out the makeup and give my honest opinion on it, maybe do a YouTube video, and that's what I'm doing for you guys today. So it was very organic. I don't know if you'd call this a sponsored video, like I was given three shades, but I was so in love with Model Rock that I went to their website and bought another 12 myself. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I am a Big advocate for Lime Crime. I'm wearing their eyeshadow today. This is the Venus XL palette. I'm so in love with the consistency and the vibrancy of those eyeshadows. And my favorite red lipstick was, has been, is not anymore. <laughs> the one I wore on my wedding was Red Velvet. I have loved that lipstick for honestly like 10 years. It is my favorite shade of red until now. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a replacement and it is the one that I'm wearing right now. This is called Cherry Wood. It is just the right amount of cherry, right amount of fire engine red. The formula. I've been wearing this nonstop because I'm not gonna do a video before I try these things out, guys. It is so creamy. It reminds me of Pretty Zombie Cosmetics, which is probably my second favorite brand. They are still very indie. They're not available in Sephora or anything like that. Either is Model Rock, but Model Rock shits all over Pretty Zombie Cosmetics. Now let's talk about Lime Crime for a second. I had a red velvet for probably honestly five years, way longer than anyone is supposed to use a <laughs> liquid <laughs> to matte um, lipstick for. But I, I do that, I use it until it literally dried up. There was nothing left in the bottle. Anyway, it was a very opaque consistency and it was very thick as well. And I was a little disappointed when I ordered my second one because I'm like, I need my favorite red lipstick. I went on over to berserk.com.au, another one of my favorite Australian retailers and bought myself a replacement, red velvet. And I was a little cut that the consistency was so different. Like I get they can change their formulas, but it wasn't opaque anymore. It was really thin as well. Like there's so many changes. If you're gonna 
make a change, just make a subtle change. Don't go and fucking change everything. Anyway, what I really liked about the original, let's say, Red Velvet, was that you only had to put on one application. And with the new one, it's so thin, you have to do two, and it's really annoying to try to get that perfect outline and then not have the opaqueness that you want, and then have to go in a second time and try to match that perfectly. So this is why this lipstick kicks lime cramps, little butt. <laughs> and this is one coat. I've had this on for about two hours. I've been drinking, gotta stay hydrated. It is not moving. And you know me, I hate when lipsticks crack. Like there's a slight bit of transfer, but it's not, it's not breaking off and it still somehow feels moisturizing. So that's me talking about the formula. I'm absolutely loving it. I haven't tried out all of the other colors, so I'm excited to do that. I'm a little disappointed now though, because I'm so happy with my makeup and now I need to try to somehow carefully take off this liquid lipstick to show you guys the colors. I've never done a swatching video before. So I hope I don't make a big mess out of my face because I'm going up to dinner tonight. If you follow me on Instagram, you know May 28th was my birthday. And on that day, I had a bucket load of merch arrived from Killstar, so that was just super fantastic. Here's Vaughn bringing me a cup of tea. Thank you. Oh, could you get me one of my new metal straws? I tried to buy the metal straws from Jeffree Star, but they were like sold out forever. What the fuck? So I went to Kmart, if you're in Australia, there's totally a dupe for $3.99. And it comes with a little brush where you can clean the straw. Ingenious. Okay, so this shade is cherry wood. As I mentioned, I am in love. It is completely, I wouldn't say a dupe because it's better quality, but a replacement for Lime Crime's Red Velvet. Mm. So good, no transfer on the straw. The packaging is also super cute. You have to love a matte black and chrome silver metallic moment, I love that. I have some of what I think might be the, whoop, their older uh, boxes and packaging. It, it's still good, but I definitely prefer the new one. I'm going to take this off as neatly as I can. I'm a little scared. <laughs> Why? It looks so good. They have a fantastic like vanilla lip scrub liquid lipstick remover, but I don't want to use it because it's more like shove it all over your face. It comes off like magnificently. Highly recommend it, but I might do that at the end to show you because I just don't want to fuck up my makeup that much. Oh, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. Look! Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> You're a weirdo. I get moved back. Okay, so that has still left on a little residue. It is a very pigmented lip color. The next color I'm going to put on is deep purple. Yeah. I don't want to go in order and do like the kind of reds and transition. I want to like shock you. So let's go straight into a color that was completely different to my last color. like the name suggests, it is a deep, vibrant purple. At first I was a little taken back by the applicator. It bends. I don't know how to show you this without getting it all over my finger. So if you have a look at that, it is really, really flexible. And at first I was like, what the fuck am I gonna do with that? I need stability. But we are three dimensional creatures, so I gave it a try rather than just shooting it down straight away. And now I actually love that it bends to the shape of my lip and it really helps in the application. So kudos to Model Rock for that. Am I loving this color? Absolutely. They've really nailed the formula. Honestly, that has to be the smoothest, creamiest, most moisturizing liquid lipstick I've ever tried. The next shade is called Atomic Blonde and it is this beautiful, almost watermelon-y hot pink, vibrant hot pink, not for the faint hearted. I think if you were a platinum blonde or insanely like golden tan skin, this would look ridiculous on you. Let's see how it's going to look on me. already okay I've actually fallen in love with that applicator I love that it bends isn't that a stunning color now for me this is out of my comfort zone but I'm loving that and with the lime crime eye palette today that is out of this world that could be my new favorite holy shit so again that was atomic blonde Ow! <laughs> so Michael Jackson moment the kid is not my son my lips are feeling a little crazy let's go into a more everyday this is like a dark 
mauve. It is not rose at all. If you know me, I've got so many nude rose shades from every single brand ever in my collection. And this is a lot deeper, kind of mauvier. Hard to explain it. Let me just put it on. But I put this on the other day. It is good. Sanity. Some days I feel I lose my sanity. So perhaps this will replenish it. apologize if I'm saying that about every color, but isn't that beautiful? The color theory with this brand seems to be really thought out. They're very defined colors, but also very unique. You know how sometimes brands just have colors where it's like, bitch, that's for all the same color. What the fuck are you doing? Ugh. Don't you love my fancy cups? That could be my new favorite everyday kind of color. And I think it just goes so wonderfully. I know I said that with the last color, but it goes so well with today's makeup. So I have three colors left out of this new packaging before we move on to the other ones. And I think I will go with this coral slash orangey red. This is a little out of my comfort zone. I don't think I would pick one like this. But hey, today is all about trying new things, trying new brands, you know, and finding replacements for things that we thought were really good, but there's just shit out there that's actually better. That's still tapping on the door waiting for his daddy to come home. Like I said, out of my comfort zone, but kind of loving it. I'm not sure if it flatters my skin tone, my complexion, but at the same time, it's so new for me. I'm totally stepping out of my comfort zone today. I'm kind of loving it. What do you guys think? Out with the old, in with the new. I feel like I'm like a pro at this now. The first time I went to take it off, I was like pussyfooting around with it being just so delicate. Now you just go in there, wipe it off. Take it off. So we just did a corally red. Let's dip into this beautiful plummy purple. It is way lighter than the, the deep purple one that I did before. You can see that difference. It's huge. It's way brighter. Von Dutch. Let's put this on my face. I feel like this is going to go so well with my eyes today. Honestly, if you hesitate like I do, putting on liquid lipsticks, film a lip swatch video. You, you'll be surprised at how fucking quickly you get really good at it. Like, damn. If someone had told me that's all I needed to do, I would have done it 10 years ago. What I really dislike are those lip swatch videos. Oh, isn't that a good look? Those lip swatch videos where, you know, not everyone's a makeup artist. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm a makeup addict. But I take pride in how I apply my lipstick and I don't like seeing lip swatches where it's like, bitch, you're not even trying to stay in the lines. Like a two year old could do that better, you know? Have pride in your lip shape. What do you think? I think that really suits the eyeshadow. And I feel a little fake that I'm saying that all of these are my favorites, but they're so, they're so different. I don't think I've ever been this in love with like a new brand. Von Dutch people. Okay, my foundation is starting to look a little funky around the lips. Kind of looks like I've had sex, but hadn't. Like what the, you want at least have had sex if you're gonna achieve that look. I don't even know how to describe this color. It's somewhere in between Cherry Wood, the first shade that I put on that I absolutely loved and Rock Chick, the more orangey based red. This almost looks like it's metallic. What do you guys think? I feel like I'm on fucking repeat. I'm kind of loving it. Okay, so this explains why they feel so moisturizing. Infused with both avocado and coconut oil to give lips an intense hit of hydration with a weightless velvety feel. Amen. So this one is Wolf Cherry. Apparently it's not metallic, but I'm getting a little bit of a shimmery effect to it. Hey London. But yeah, fuck, I'm loving that shade. I honestly, I love all of them. I don't know which one I would actually pick as my favorite now. That's strange. Hey baby, you ready to go to the shops, aren't you? Also today, let's quickly mention why my little buddy is playing with the makeup next to me. The lashes are also model rock. I've been wearing their lashes for about a month and I absolutely love it. They have such a wide variety. And I got this Wings Out Loud brush tip liner. So they have a felt tip and a brush tip today. I used the brush tip. I really liked the flippiness of the applicator. Thank you, baby. Oopsie daisies. That's okay, thank you. So I got these two here and I got a really nice wing eyeliner. I'm finding it easier to put that on after the application of my falsies because I've got more of a definite line to kind of work with. Okay, I've actually run out of time. 
so I think I'm going to stop there and I've swatched all of the ones that I think are the new formula here and I do have four more one is a metallic shade you've got a really nice baby pink a more rosy thank you sweetie a more rosy nude and this gorgeous kind of fuchsia there that one's called Priscilla so I will quickly swatch them for you on my hand so you can see them I was so rushed to do this video I've just realized that I've forgotten to put the microphone on so I'm sorry if there's a huge reverb Okay, so this is Spanish Rose. Anything that ends in rose, I'm going to like for an everyday shade. That's as rosy as you can get. That is an absolutely lovely shade. Next up, Priscilla. Oh, I wore this in a photo shoot the other day. Isn't that a gorgeous color? Mom. Yes, sweet, huh? No, so that one's Priscilla. I didn't paint it, baby. It's just, it's comes that way. So this one's Coco Lava. It has a more oh, earthy tone to it. Coco Lava, my little assistant here. It is almost a nudie brown, which I haven't delved into before. I don't really do browns. So that is Coco Lava. So I have, if you're wondering, fair skin in, I can tell you if you're the same shade as me, I'm light 44 cool in Kat Von D. I have neutral undertones. My veins are bluey greeny. So if you're wondering how those will show up on you, if you're similar to me, they will show up the same. So this is the first yeah. metallic one I have. It's called Mega Modern I need Metals. Same. Give me this. Yeah, I need that one definitely. Ooh. Okay, not as opaque. I can see that from the swatch, but definitely more metallic. No, I don't need that one, sweet cheeks. So this one is called Tantrum. Yeah, we know all about tantrums, don't we? So the one that I just put on. There, the metallic one, you can see the formula isn't so opaque. Nice. But you can just put a second application on, baby. Oh, thank you. He's stacking them in the box so neatly. You're so cute. Okay, so overall thoughts. Rounding up, I've got to take these guys to the shops. I've been dying to spend their $4. They get $4 each week to spend on a little toy. Thank you. I'm in love with this brand. I'm in love with the formula, the colors. Highly pigmented. I think they retail for about $25, $29 Australian dollars. Completely reasonable. The other day, Model Rock. Don't open that. I had this crazy 80% off sale so that is when I went over and bought the extra one so I could do this lip swatch video and I literally picked them up for five dollars each so keep an eye out for that now as a ambassador for Glamour Empire Cosmetics I need to let you know that you can purchase model rock within Australia from Glamour Empire Cosmetics so there is a website they will ship within Australia so go and check them out I think they have bundles they've got makeup brushes as I mentioned I'm going to do another video on that because you guys need to see this cheaper alternative to all the expensive yeah. high-end shit that's out there. I'm not dissing high-end shit. I love high-end makeup, but like if you can't afford it, you need alternatives, right? Everyone starts somewhere. Yeah. Everyone starts with one makeup brush. My first makeup brush was from the body shop and the second one I think would have been from MAC and I could only yeah, afford to buy Mac. one at a time. MAC, yeah, MAC Cosmetics. You know MAC? Yeah. Ah, you know Mac truck. So to go over that again, if you are within Australia, you can go oh. to Glamour Empire Cosmetics and you need to be trying out these lipsticks. If you're a fan of Lime Crime, yeah. You have to try these because they're better. This is not an affiliate code, but because I'm an ambassador, I'm able to offer you a discount code. So just put in the code Avelina, just as my name is spelled, lowercase, uppercase, doesn't matter. And you can receive 10% off from your order at Glamour Empire Cosmetics. If you are overseas, I feel like I'm talking really fast because I need to go over that. I normally don't do videos on the days that the kids are home. But they were outside playing and I thought I'll be fine, but then they came back in. If you are overseas, you can of course go to Model Rock's website. I think it's Model Rock Lashes. Hello, now we can see your beautiful face. Let's put you in the end of the video. And they will of course ship internationally. So let me know in the comments below, what was your favorite color? I honestly can't choose. What do you think looked the best on me? Which color are you going to buy, if any? I have nothing but good things to say about this brand. Do you like this type of video on my channel? I've really enjoyed doing it for you. I've been buying a lot of makeup and there will be a lot of upcoming makeup videos on my channel because it's just something I'm heaps passionate about. And fuck, if I've got so much of it, I might as well make videos and start to do that for you all. Come over here, London. Come say goodbye. Oh, you're so beautiful. There we are. <laughs> so there's the eyeballs of my little boy. Aren't you beautiful? How old did you just turn? Yeah. Three. <laughs> Isn't he beautiful? Say thanks for watching. You're so beautiful. You know how much I love you? So much. Oh, you got that because you're so cute. Okay. Steele, do you want to come over here and make this cuteness ridiculous? What have you been eating? Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new here, welcome to my YouTube family. Come and join me on Instagram. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.